calls for accountability tonight after the killing of Palestinian-American Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh. Abu Akleh was shot and killed in May while reporting on a military raid in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. A State Department investigation released earlier this month found the fatal bullet was too badly damaged to discern its origin, but that gunfire from IDF positions was likely responsible for the death. The summary also said that there was no indication of any intentionality behind her killing. A U.N. investigation, though, concluded Israeli soldiers did in fact kill the Palestinian American journalist. And joining us now for more on Abu Akhle is Abu Akhle's niece, Lena Abu Akhle. Uh, Lena, we thank you so much for your time, for joining us uh, tonight, and, and our thoughts are, are certainly with you and, and your entire family uh, during this time. Um, we know that you're in Washington, D.C. right now, met with Secretary of State Antony yes. Blinken on Tuesday. Uh, what did he tell you about the death of your aunt? Thank you so much for having me and thank you for your sincere condolences. Um, well, he reiterated the same statement as he did previously. Um, yes, he did show some words of sympathy and condolences, but at the same time, we want to see meaningful action. We asked them to retract uh, that statement that was very damaging to the truth and to all the previous reports, as you've mentioned, uh, like the UN report and other news investigations that act news outlets that uh, reported uh, evidence-based um, uh, coverage. We asked for more transparency. When we asked for uh, how they determined the intent uh, on the report that they published, uh, Mr. Blinken said that they couldn't determine intent. So this made us question as to how did they conclude that the shot was not intentional when he's telling us that they couldn't determine intent. So there were clear uh, contradictions with the statements. That's why all we're asking for is a U.S.-led investigation that is independent and transparent. What do you know about her final moments? Well, the final moments before um, the, before she was killed, she was well, with her colleagues walking in uh, uh, walking in that area where uh, where the crime happened. Um, she was there reporting uh, on her way to report. The scene was quiet, and uh, that's that was it. She was shot doing what she loved the most, which is reporting truth, reporting facts, and uh, giving voice to the voiceless Palestinians. Israeli police clashed with mourners at her funeral. Talk to us about that and, and what those first days after her death were like. Well, it's important to clarify that there were no clashes. It was mainly um, the Israeli paramilitary police attacking us, attacking my family, and attacking mourners um, who were trying to pay their respect for Shirin. But unfortunately, they violated her dignity. They violated our right to, uh, to a funeral, and they attacked us brutally. I remember it was so traumatizing. I, I couldn't even stand. I was very worried that they may confiscate her casket, as has happened in the past. Mm. Um, this is something that was beyond any words. It was a scene that will forever be ingrained in all our collective memory as, as a family, but also as Palestinians as a whole. And, and we're seeing some, some video right now of uh, that chaos that, that you're talking about. And, and I know that you stated that you want an investigation into what happened. What do you make so far of the U.S. government response, considering that your, art, your aunt was an American citizen who died while she was doing what she loved, doing her job? Yeah, uh, unfortunately, until today, we haven't seen any meaningful action from the U.S. administration. That's why we are here as a family in D.C. demanding um, an investigation, a U.S. investigation uh, that is transparent and credible and that is evidence-based. We All that we're asking for is justice and accountability. And we have so many questions that still hasn't been answered. The U.S. here has a choice. They either support all our efforts towards a, uh, attaining accountability and justice, or they continue to perpetuate the impunity that the Israeli government continues to enjoy. As a U.S. citizen, Shirin, as Shirin was a U.S. citizen, and it's their duty to protect their citizens abroad. 
Dozens of members of Congress have also called for an investigation. Uh, you've said that you want to meet with President Biden. What would you tell him if you got that chance? Yes, meeting uh, President Biden is very important because it will allow us to, uh, to, to talk to him directly and for us to understand that he is taking this matter seriously. Uh, we will tell him that we want a U.S. investigation. Uh, we will tell him that uh, there needs to be accountability. We want answers as a family. For those of us who never had the opportunity to meet Shireen, give us a sense of, of who she was. Shireen was, a, was one of the most empathetic people I've met in my life. She was compassionate. That's what made her stand out as a, as a, as a journalist. She used her voice to give voice to the voiceless Palestinians. Her sense of humor made her uh, stand out. She was so unique um, and she was fun. She was the cool aunt who I enjoyed traveling with. We even had travel plans. We were supposed to be in the U.S. together now and not my family alone here trying to fight for justice and accountability. Shirin was someone that will be forever remembered in every Palestinian household uh, and she will forever, her legacy will forever be, uh, will also be remembered. I think we got a glimpse of that. Just when I first asked you, before you answered, you just smiled, you know, thinking about yes. your aunt. And, and so, Lena, once again, we thank you so much for your time and joining us here on Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.